Hey there view, today we're going to go through the create reports and dashboards for sales and marketing managers project. The project is about tracking key business information for your stakeholders with reports and dashboards. You can find it through trailhead.salesforce.com, just uh, search for create reports and dashboards and you should find it there. So let's get started with the first step. Create reports and dashboard folders. Create report and dashboard folders. Introduction. Imagine trying to come through your Salesforce data to figure out what percentage of your opportunities have been closed this year. After a few hundred clicks, you would get pretty frustrated. Luckily, there are Salesforce report and dashboards to make your life easier. Compare, evaluate, dissect and categorize data that will help you and your team make the right business decisions. All with the power of Salesforce reports and dashboards. Benefits of reports and dashboards. You and your sales and marketing managers benefit from reports and dashboards in these ways. Visibility into data. Reports and dashboards give you easy access to key data insights which helps managers make better decisions. Time savings. You don't have time to manually dig through all your many projects, records and fields to pull together answers to your manager's questions. Reports give you a quick way to answer both simple or complex questions. Flexibility with reports and dashboards you can pull data from your standard and custom objects and fields. You have many powerful options for tailoring reports and dashboards to specific needs of your end users. Your stakeholders reporting needs. In this project you will get hands on practice building reports and dashboards on the Salesforce platform from start to finish. Let's see the reports and dashboards you build for each of your stakeholders to track key business information. Stakeholder VP of Sales Reporting Requirements Simple reports showing all of your sales team's opportunities by rep that have been closed one this year. Reports showing opportunities by rep grouped by close date and displayed in a table. Matrix report showing opportunities by owner stage and size in the pipeline this fiscal quarter. Report showing percentage of closed opportunities being won. Visual comparison of sales rep win rates. Dashboard of key display information from a sales report, which is also be accessible by her team. A VP of marketing. List of all customer accounts based in New York, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania or New Jersey that have either a prospect rating of hot or annual revenue over 2 million. CEO ability to export and manipulate a report in spreadsheet software. With just a few clicks you will be helping your executive team analyze data within Salesforce in no time. Create report and dashboard folders. You have received a lot of requests from various stakeholders to analyze data in Salesforce. How do you keep it all organized? Start by creating the necessary folders that can be shared with various team members. Create a new report folder called Global Sales Reports. Click the app launcher and select sales in the sales app. So let's start with this. Actually, maybe I will create a new playground for this. It's already like some from some report and dashboard project. So I will just create a new one. Hold on a second. All right, I'm back with a new playground. So let's continue here. Click the reports tab, which is here. Click a new folder and enter details. Click the folder unique name text box to auto populate the new nickname. Don't worry. I think that already happened. Repeat steps 3 to 6 to create the following folders as subfolders under the global sales report folder. So let's see here, is it there? 
Okay, let's create the subfolders. Atom and Lightning Experience Reports. Marketing Reports. reports create a new dashboard folder called global sales dashboards click the dashboards tab click new folder and enter the details or folder label enter global sales dashboards all the new folders with the sales team click created by me under folders click the arrow from the share drop down select so roles and subordinates In the search box, enter Channel Sales Team, Eastern Sales Team, and Western Sales Team. Leave access to view and click share. Click done to close the share folder pop up. Click reports and there we do the same. So sub folders um, will be automatically shared so we don't have to do that for all the subfolders that's very fortunate channel sales team eastern and western And let's uh, verify this. Step not yet complete. Could not find a report folder with the name Global Sales Reports. Okay. Well, let's see. That's uh, very strange. Let me pause this real quick. 
So I reloaded the page and for some reason it worked after that even though it's the same playground. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will tackle the next step. You can find the playlist in the description and if you have don't if you don't have the time today to watch further videos or if you just wanted to watch this specific video hit the like button hit subscribe if you want to see more videos and if you have any questions or feedback just type it in the comment box below thank you so much see you in the next video